What's going on, everybody? It's your main man, Drew Two, and I'm back at you again with another video. Everybody, do me a favor. Smash that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Squad up if you're trying to join the notification. Squad. Squad up with us. And everybody, show some love in them comments. Without further ado, I'm about to do this Drew Two video for you. Despite what you're going through, I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but here we go. Despite what you're going through, you deserve the best. And you were made for greater things. Let's talk about it. Despite what you're going through, I want you to know that you were made for greater things. Jesus was born in a manger. That That is a, a donkey den, okay, where, where animals use the bathroom. And it was in the hood. Okay, it, it was in the hood, a, a stable that was unable, but that stable was able, okay, because it was in the hood, and Jesus was around the animals, and they was pooping and farting, and there was donkeys, and he grew up in a, a, a poopy bin, and he still made it, man, all respect, all respect to big Jesus, man, he still made it, yo, with all respect, he still made it, man. So you telling me, despite what you're going through, you don't deserve the best. They 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 show Jesus poor because they want people. They don't want people to focus on riches and wealth, and they don't want people to associate riches and wealth with Jesus. But Jesus wasn't walking around in no rags. Okay, Jesus was Jesus was looking good. All right, he might have still gave, he might have gave up stuff, but he's still looking fly. He is still looking good. Okay, so. Despite what you're going through, know you deserve the best. He grew up and he came from nothing. Nazareth, okay? People in his hometown didn't even respect him. He had to leave. Who are y'all? He had to leave. Who are y'all? I, I don't even know y'all. All right? So, despite what you're going through, you're made for greater things. You may not look like you deserve greater things, but I still want you to feel like you do. Who's to tell you that you don't deserve greater things? People base their own self-judgment and their own self-criticism off of what society tells them. If you if you don't have if you don't have something, you don't deserve better. If you're not in a position to get better, you don't deserve better. Well, how am I supposed to get in a position to get it if I'm if or how am I supposed to? They'll tell you all types of things to make you not even want to try. They'll be mad if you're at a lower level and think you can reach the top. They'll they'll want you to stay complacent right where you are. But despite what you're going through, I want to tell you you deserve the best. You may be down and out right now, but you deserve the best. You may not be where you want to be, but you deserve the best. No matter what you're going through, you deserve more than what you have already. And I don't want you to, to, to think that you don't just because you may be from a certain area. Don't think that you don't deserve any more than anybody else. You might even deserve more. Might even be able, you might even be worth more, might be able to get more for yourself because you've been through more than those people. All right, the best people are the ones that have been through the most. So you been, if you've been through more, you deserve more. You deserve it more. The more, more you've been through, the better you deserve. All right, Jesus, Jesus went through it all. You deserve more just like he did. You deserve the best out of life. All right? You deserve to be able to take your life, raise it up, pick up your bed and walk, and, and, and get the life that you want, despite what you're going through. You may not have a car. Doesn't mean you don't deserve the car you want. You may not have a house. Doesn't mean you don't deserve the house you want. You don't even have a house. How are you going to get that? None of their business. You, you shouldn't be talking to them about it. That's why you keep your dreams to yourself when you have big dreams People want to judge you because if your life is if your life isn't big as that dream, they're going to tell you, how do you think you can do that? And they're going to try to program you to not believe in yourself. People hate somebody that believes in themselves. 
They don't like it because they don't believe in themselves. So they don't want you to believe in you. Don't don't you dare be on the same level as somebody else, not be doing better than them, but think you can outgrow the position both of y'all at. What makes you think you can get out of here? What makes you? Th- People have no faith, no faith at all. They want to shoot you down just for having faith. They don't want like how 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 do you believe in God but you don't believe in yourself? That's backwards. That's how you know people are evil. People are living backwards. You're not going to believe in God or believe in yourself. What, what what are you believing in? Nothing. They're not believing in anything. They don't believe in God and they don't believe in themselves. That's a sad existence. So when you come around and you're not sad because you're full of all this belief and you're full of all this worthiness and all this deservedness, they got to try to tear you down. You, you're doing too much. You feel you, you feel you deserve it all. And the fact that you feel you deserve it all and they already see something special about you, something special with you, they think that, you know what? She can actually get what she wants. He can actually get what he wants. Let's stop him. But I'm here to tell you, despite what you're going through, despite people trying to stop you, despite people hating on you, despite them trying to take your job, despite them not wanting to, despite them trying to take your, your apartment, your home, where you live at, despite them trying to uh, uh, make it hard for you to exist, you deserve the best and you are made for greater things. All right. You, 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 you might not have the life that you want right now. Your life may not even look like a life that anybody would want right now. You still deserve the best. I'm here to tell you right now, you deserve more than what you think you do. Because whatever you think you do, God always has 10 times more. All right. You deserve you deserve a, a nice house like Solomon had. You deserve a nice place like Solomon had. All the gold, all the jewels. You deserve that too. You're worthy of that too. All right, we are all we're all God's children. What was was, was uh, Solomon not a child of God? Are you not a child of God? You deserve you deserve riches just like that. You deserve something nice just like that. A nice place just like that. Why was it written about? Why 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 was why was it recorded? They wanted to put that image in your mind to let you know that you can have that and more. All you have to do is believe. All you have to do is be obedient. Meaning, believe, be obedient to your faith, your God, be obedient to God, be obedient to the faith. Believe that you can have that. Solomon started uh, worshiping strange gods. He started going outside his own belief system. Started worshiping strange gods. What those strange gods really represented was they, they took his belief or what they took his power from him. Them women took his power from him because what he originally believed, they came along and made him believe in something different. So the fact that he d- uh, didn't believe in the original things that helped him get to where he was at, he lost it and, and God had to give it to his servant to hold him, to watch over him. Because Solomon went crazy, started believing in all these other strange things. All right, but you don't believe in yourself, and, and what else are you going to believe in? When you don't believe in the God in you, what else are you going to believe in? They got they tricked Sol. They got Solomon to not believe in himself. They got him to believe in something outside of himself. Lost it all. Had to get it back. So, despite what you're going through, you deserve the best. You have to believe it. Otherwise. You'll miss out on your blessing. Otherwise, somebody somebody else will be able to get your blessing because you don't believe in yourself. Somebody else who comes along and believes in himself, they're going to get it. All right. It, 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 the Lord is no respecter of persons. Whoever believes in themselves is going to be blessed. Whoever deserves the best is going to be blessed. Whoever feels that they're the one they're going to be the one. So despite what you're going through, despite what happened to you, despite what they said about you, you know they're talking about you. When you want to be successful, you got to get ready for them to talk about you. She thinks she can have all that. 
She thinks she all that. She thinks she got her store. She got her business. Now she going on vacation. Rest of us still working. All right. Despite whatever they're saying. Oh, he think he all that. Got his little barbershop. Now the barbershop closed. We can't even uh, go there. He on vacation. Uh, we hating. He on vacation and we hating. Despite what they t- but despite what they're saying. Despite the good that you already have, you deserve even better. And you might you might be doing exceptionally well. God wants to bless you still even more. God ain't done blessing you yet. Don't be afraid to put in the comment section say God ain't done blessing me yet. Put that down below. God ain't done blessing me yet. Despite what you're going through, you deserve the best. And you're going to get it. All the trouble that you've been through. All the late nights, all the studying, all the research, all the hard work and effort you've been putting in. All right, all, all the journaling, all the affirmations, all the repetition, the meditating. You deserve the best. All right, people not believing in you. People telling you that you're, you'll, you'll never be that. You'll never get that. They, they tried to trick you into not believing in yourself. They tried to make you not believe in yourself. You don't want to end up like Solomon out here doing worshiping strange gods. Don't believe anything outside yourself. These people tell you you can't do it. You believe them. That's a strange God. That God is very strange. My God is telling me I can I can do what uh, he did and more. And then here they come telling you can't do that. If you believe that, you're worshiping that. If you believe that, you're taking what they said and making that God to you. So don't believe these people when they tell you you can't do things. Don't believe in these people when they tell you that you can't have things. You can have the life that you want. They're mad that they can't have the life that they want. It's always the person with no skills, no creativity, no dream, always coming to tell up to you until you know you can't do that. So don't listen to them. You you look, look at these people and analyze their life. Use your discernment and see where this is coming from. It's usually coming from a place of hate because they see you about to make it. They see something good about to happen for you. They, 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 see, they see your time coming. You've been waiting a long time coming and they see your time coming. And the, the change, you know, change is coming. All right? So this, despite what you went through, the loss of money, the loss of jobs, the loss of wages, the loss of people in your life. Whether it been friends, whether it been family, whether it been a significant other. God's still there for you. All right. People don't believe in you. People cut you off. They don't nobody want to deal with you no more. People playing games with you. Despite all those things, you deserve you deserve the best. No matter how much money you got in your bank account right now, you deserve you deserve some more. You deserve the best. No matter how much money you got in your wallet, no matter how many hours they gave you this week, they might have cut your hours because they know that you deserve the best. All right, they are. They they know you got something going on. They they that's why you don't say nothing to nobody. They know you got secret plans. Well, she trying to get up up out of here. She don't even want to work here with us no more. You see, she ain't talking to nobody. She don't tell us how much money she be making. She don't she don't uh come in and 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 she don't buy food with us every day like we all do. She come in, pack her lunch. We be spending fifty dollars every day for lunch. She she pack her lunch. She ain't wasting her money like us. What's she doing with all that money? She don't be buying, she don't be buying hair every week like us. She don't be doing this every week like us. They all up in your business because you're making moves to get ahead but despite yo, despite what they have to say despite the hate they have for you despite the negative energy they got for you despite the jealousy despite the envy because they get envious they get hateful when they get to trying to stop you from accomplishing your goals you were made for greater things those greater things they can't stop you from getting them People see that you people see that you're made for greater things. They know that you are made to be on a level that's higher than the one that they're on. The one that you're on with them right now. They know you they you on a, you they know you on a level that supersedes theirs. 
That's why they get so mad. Having to be around you, having to see you. You're not meant to be on that level. Your energies don't mix. Attitude definitely don't mix. You're irritating them. All right, your spirit is irritating their demon. Their demons irritate your spirit from time to time. That you know they they got the little demon thing. They try to irritate your spirit. But the thing is, when you deserve the best, when you know you're a child of God, when you know that you are your your, your abundance is your birthright, when you know that you were made to live. The, your best life, to live the best life that you could possibly live, to, to to dress as nice as you could, drive a car as nice as you as they have them, to, to live in a home as nice as they could make them, because God wants this for you. You know that you're made for greater things. When you know God wants it for you, when you know the good that you desire is the same desire that you know God has for you to, to live, to have the life that you want, to have that life that you desire, once you know that, you know what, God wants me to have this too. You're, you're made for greater things. Because once you realize God wants you to have it, if God be for you, who can be against you? If, if you know God wants you to have that dream, who can take that from you? No matter, no matter what they try to do. If you know God ha- wants you to have this, how can they stop you? They can only stop you through your own mind by you allowing them to if you let them get to you enough by focus on what they're trying to do instead of focusing on God gave me this dream. God put this dream in my head. They can't take this from me. The Lord gave this to me. They can't take it away. All right. So know that all those good things that you want, all those good things that you feel you deserve, all those good things that you feel you're worthy of, you were made for them and they were made for you. What you desire desires you. You will attract everything that you want this year. You will attract all the people that you want this year. All right. This is your time to win. This is your time to be blessed. This is your time to have infinite money flow into your life. Infinite money is flowing into your bank account. All right. Your your whole life is about to change because you were made for greater things and you, you deserve the best. No more. No more second guessing what you're worth. No more. Am I good enough? Did I do that right? You, you do that exceptionally well. I need you to start believing that everything that you do, everything that you're into, everything that you believe, know that you do it exceptionally well. All right. Don't, 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 don't think that you're not good enough. That is holding you up from your dream. Don't think that what you're doing is not working. Don't tell yourself you're making mistakes. Don't don't focus on your mistakes instead of the things that you're good at. Focus on the things that you're good at over your mistakes. Nobody's perfect. Don't let your imperfections get in the way. Despite your imperfections, even your imperfections can't stop you now. God God wants you to know that nothing can nothing but you can get in your way. Only, only thing that can get in your way is you. He's he's cleared everything else out the way. All he needs you to do is hop on board, believe in yourself, and work with him, and not believe anything outside of that order. Not believe anything outside of that covenant. God said, "What's for you is for you." Now you're gonna believe somebody that tells you you can't have it. That's what Solomon did. That's that Solomon stuff. Don't be, don't yo, know, be, be like Solomon, but don't be like Solomon. When it comes to him worshiping them strange gods, be them strange gods alone. God is telling you that you can have the life you want. He created you to have the life you want. If you believe in a circumstance, if, if you believe in a situation, if you believe in poverty, if you believe in, in hatred, if you believe in hurt, if, if you believe in, in negativity, if you believe in I can't. That's a strange God right there. And you're, you're, you're worshiping a strange God. You're worshiping and believing in something outside of yourself. And that's going to keep you in the same position. All right. There's people who had, that's how people turn something in. That's how people turn nothing into something by believing in themselves. All you got to do is have the faith of a mustard seed. Mustard seed, small as hell. Hell's in the Bible. Don't you hate on me. 
our uh, uh, side mustard seed is, is, is about the size of a molecule, a dust grain. All right, and 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 most of y'all got faith bigger than that, not even using it. How you got? How how, how you got to have the faith of a mustard seed? Your faith is bigger than a mustard seed, and you ain't even using it. Shame on you. Shame on you for not believing in yourself. All right. All the things that you've seen people in history go through and still make it. Have you been living under a rock? Don't let, don't, they, they want you to stay in the matrix and think that your job is holding you back. They want you to think your family is holding you back. They want you to think bills and car payments and everything is holding you back. Those things aren't holding you back. When, when you tell yourself that your money is only strictly used for bills and nothing else, you won't have any money to invest in your dream. God works in mysterious ways. God will give you magic money. You'll have enough money for your kids, your bills, your home, your dreams, your car, your gas, vacation. God will give you magic money. You have to believe in him and you have to understand that he wants to bless you. What You have to stop putting all your faith and all your hope in that job money. You have to start focusing on that God money. It's, it's, it's very good to make sure that you have consistent income coming in. But one thing that people tend to forget when they get in the routine of doing things for themselves, you forget that God does things for you too. We're supposed to do things for ourselves, of course. That's why I'm making this video. I have to do things for myself as well. But God will help us. Don't forget that. Don't God, God If God will bless you with a job, God will bless you with money. God will bless you with a car. God will bless you with a home. You have to open up your mind to receive it. Whatever you think that you can get blessed with, you will. The opportunity will be there for you to be blessed. It's just a certain things that you have to do. You have to do your part. You have to see yourself with, with what your blessing. You have to uh, feel what, what it would feel like if you had your blessing. You, you, can't, you can't not feel like you can't get it. And then expect to for it to manifest. Expect for you to have it. You got to change how you feel about things. You got to change how you think about things. How you speak about things. So that way, the greater things that you're made for can appear in your life. You can make the greater things in your life. You can have access to them. People have all types of stories to where... They spoke certain things, changed their mindset about certain things, and then they were able to get what they wanted out of life. Universe opened up doors for them. They ended up getting a job to give them the amount of money they wanted to get that dream car, that dream home. They ended up getting a dream job. So believe, believe, believe. All right, you have to have, uh, uh, that, what did God say? Uh, the, the faith, the belief of a child. Child, children have a, a very wild, vivid imagination. A child can believe it, it could turn into a, a purple dragon with, with uh, blue hooves and an a, a, a invisible fairy on the back. All right? Children uh, can tend to, and they'll believe that. So basically, what you have to do, there's nothing that you should, that you should feel is out of reach for you. If, the, if somebody is living in a castle, you should feel that you should be able to live in a castle. It might seem far-fetched to some people, but if you, see your, if you see yourself walking around in that castle, living in that castle, and you keep picturing that every day, every night, you keep um, walking in the land of it and the breath of it, then you, you keep suggesting that to your subconscious mind, to your mind. All right, you keep using your conscious mind to plant that seed in your subconscious mind and you keep watering that seed and keep uh, watering it day and night, it's got to manifest. Even if you don't end up in a uh, castle like the queen, you'll hit the lottery and end up in a castle like Shaq, a big old uh, house like Michael Jordan, a big old house like uh, Britney Spears or Celine Dion or Cameron Diaz. All right, walking around with your big movie star shades on. With your, with, your, with your Gucci flip flops on, and the guy don't hate uh, hate you for walking for wanting nice things now. He only God doesn't want you to do anything bad and backstab anybody and sell your soul and and uh, uh, throw away your morals just for some Gucci flip flops. No, that's why. Why would you do that? But he doesn't mind you having good things. It's all about how you go about getting it. 
So if you know you deserve the best, if you want some Gucci flip flops, if you want a, a Rolls Royce, if you want a mansion, even if you just want a nice log cabin on on a little plot of land in front of a lake. All right, you don't even got to be a big crib. You can have you a nice little uh, classic car, a nice little 90s uh, little uh, van or whatever, whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> have you a nice little 90s van, nice little log cabin crib, nice little modest sized home in front of a lake. Whatever you want, God wants you to have it. Whatever you want, wants you. All right, so stop thinking that you can't have things. Oh man, I'm down and out. I can't have nothing. Yes, you can. Stop saying that. You're making that real. Despite where you're at, you still deserve the best. You can still have greater things. It doesn't matter where you're at. Jesus was born around an, uh, animals, a place where animals use the bathroom. And look what it, look at him. Look where he took it. He took it from the manger to the to the the, the world stage. All right, Jesus took it from the manger to the world stage. Animals farting, pooping, peeing, using the bathroom, donkeying. He might have even got kicked in the head by a donkey. Who knows, man? He, he overcame all that being born there. Being born there, not in a hospital, not in a, a, a home, not in a, 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 a castle, not in a hut, in a manger. He was born in a manger. He came from nothing. And he was still he was still able to reach G, become Jesus. People coming far and wide to be healed and listen to what he had to say, take heed of his message. They still wanted to hear what Jesus had to say. He grew up around donkey donkey doo doo. With all respect, I'm just keeping I'm telling you the facts. This man was he was born in a manger. That's what a manger is. It's where animals use the bathroom. He still made it out of that. And Nazareth was a, was the hood. Nazareth was like com compared to Chirac. All right, he made he made it he made it out. All right, so he made it out. So just just like a a, a Chief Keith. All right, Chief Keith. He ended up uh, he was in the hood, pulled a gun out on an officer, went to jail, came out, made his music. He been staying on the right path ever since. All right, he he came from nothing, man. So you can come from nothing. He still deserved, and in in the in the heart of Chicago, guns, drugs, gang violence. He still, you know what? He said, "I deserve the best." You can learn a lot from these these little young guys coming up in these little hood spots, man. They you not gonna you're not gonna tell them that they don't deserve the best. They coming from nothing. All right, they they could possibly die walking to the store, coming home. They still feel like they deserve the best. So what would you and, and they still going after what they want was stopping you. They fearless too. All right, so you should be fearless too when it comes to going after your dream. And just because you may not be in one of them type of situations, you can still be successful despite the, yo you you might have you might have grown up in a, a very nice environment, two parent home, everything peachy king. Guess what? You still deserve the best too. You you you, you don't deserve any less just because you you grew up with something. Take it, yo, take it to a new height. Whatever you feel you deserve, you deserve. Whatever you feel you're worthy of, you're worthy of. Despite what people got to say, despite how anybody feel about it. But your life is your life. If somebody feels you don't deserve something because of some, pre -fa some false preconceived idea that they have, that's between them and the Lord. That's their problem. And so you you you're not you tell you gonna tell me you're not gonna enjoy your life because somebody got an opinion about you and how how your life came about. You didn't ask to be born how how you however you was born. Nobody asked to be born into this world how they come into the world. You just come into the world how you are and it is what it is. So so just because you're special or just because you got something special going on or you believe in yourself or you think you can have more and you know you deserve more, you feel it in your heart of hearts that you deserve the best and, and God got something special for you, man, go after that thing and get it because that's God trying to push you and let you know that he's got something for you. He even want to experience through you, experience it through you. That new car you want to drive, God want to drive it through you. So don't, don't be ashamed to like nice things. And just because you may not look like uh, gold right now, you may not look like a million dollars right now, doesn't mean you don't deserve a million dollars. So with that being said, this video is coming to a close. I want to appreciate every chosen vessel 
who stuck around to the end of this video because you a real one. Thank you for hitting that like button. Shout out to the notification squad up. Okay, shout out to the notification squad. Squad up. All right. Shout out to everybody showing some love in the comments, hitting that like button, and hitting that share button because it's gratefully appreciated. I'll see each and every one of you amazing people in the next video. All right. Don't settle for less. Always go, uh, always go for the most that you can get. I'll see everybody. Peace.